In this example, we're going to apply the law of refraction to solve for the angle of refraction using the angle of incidence and the two velocities at the two different mediums. So let's begin. Suppose a sound wave is traveling in air in a region of 35 degrees Celsius when it hits a layer of air with a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Assuming the sound wave hits the boundary at an angle of 30 degrees, we want to find the angle of refraction knowing that the relationship between the velocity of the sound in air is given by the following equation. So we want to use this equation to calculate the velocity at 35 degrees Celsius and at 5 degrees Celsius and that's exactly what we do in the first step. So the velocity when our temperature is 35 degrees is equal to 331 meters per second plus 0.6 multiplied by the degree measure in Celsius. So 0.6 times 35 gives us 352 meters per second. Now let's use the same equation to find the velocity of our sound wave at 5 degrees Celsius. 331 plus 0.6 times 5 gives us 334 meters per second. So now we know our two velocities, so let's draw our diagram. So our sound wave, which is represented by the following ray, hits our boundary between the 35 degree region and the 5 degree region at an angle of 30 with respect to that boundary. So that means the angle of incidence is 90 minus 30, so 60 degrees. Now because the velocity is lower in this region than this region, that means our ray will bend towards our vertical axis as shown. And the angle of incidence will be greater than the angle of refraction. Action. So, let's apply the law of refraction, which is basically given by the following equation. So the sine of the angle of incidence divided by the sine of the angle of refraction is equal to the velocity at the 35 degree region divided by the velocity at the 5 degree region. So we essentially want to solve for the sine of the angle of refraction and we get the following result. Now, notice we know what these velocities are and we know what the angle of incidence is. The angle of incidence is 90 minus 30, so 60 degrees. So that means if we find out what this quantity is and we take the inverse of the sine function of both sides, we see that the angle of refraction is equal to our sine to the negative 1 multiplied by where the sine of negative 1 is simply our inverse of the sine function. So sine 60 divided by 352 multiplied by 334, we take the inverse sine of that quantity and we get approximately 52 degrees. So the angle of refraction is 52 degrees and that makes sense because it's less than 60. And that's exactly what we said it will be because the velocity in this region is less than the velocity in the upper region.